Good morning and welcome to a special edition of Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fawns. And I'm Brittany Flowers. And we are super excited about today's show because we are coming to you live from what will be the future WSLS building. I couldn't be more excited. I know, it's so <laughs> exciting. So we're going to talk about this building here in just a minute. And in about a half hour, we're going to have a groundbreaking ceremony. Yeah. And we're going to be talking to our CEO and our GM about all that you can expect from the new building in just a little bit. But let's tell our viewers where we are. Yeah. So our new building is the former Granger Industrial Supply Warehouse here in Roanoke with over 22,000 square feet. And it's located behind Magic City Ford near downtown Roanoke. So we're we're not going far. No, we're not going far at all. It's, I mean, just a couple minute drive from where we're at right now. We've been in our current building in downtown Roanoke since 1955. That's 63 years. 63 years. <laughs> There's a lot of history in that building. Yeah. We love that building, but you know what? We outgrew it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so we are going to be working with the local construction company, Lionberger Construction, to create a new state-of-the-art studio and facility to better serve our community. Yeah, so WSLS went on air in 1952 in the Shenandoah building on 1st Street, which, fun fact, I just learned this this morning, the station's call letters stand for Shenandoah Life Station, yes. which I didn't know that until this morning, and it's been housed at the corner of 3rd and Church since 1955. Yes, so we are excited. It's a it's a very exciting day, and yeah. we have our CEO here. Yes, so I'm going to go over here and talk to the CEO of Graham Media Group, Emily Barr. Thank Hello. you so much. Hey, how are you? I'm great, and I'm really, I'm like truly excited to be here. So am I. I really am. So first, I guess, what is the reasoning behind getting a new building? Okay, so every building actually has a useful life. And I think it's fair to say that our current building has seen the end of its <laughs> useful life. Yeah. And I'm trying to be polite about that. And you know what? In order for us to better cover the community, use the new technology that's available to us, we needed a better facility. And so we found this nice empty shell, if you will, yeah. and we're going to build it out. We're going to have all kinds of state-of-the-art technology, and it's going to be great. Yeah, so w w is that what the deciding factor was for this specific building? I think we wanted to be really close. We wanted to be as close to downtown as we could. Yeah. So this is really great because we're really just a, you know, a stone's throw away from downtown, and um, so we get to remain a big part of uh, Roanoke, which is such a vibrant community, and yet we get a new building which we can build out to specifications that we need to cover the news today the way we do it digitally and so forth. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, what we've learned, we've been part of Graham since January of 2017. Mm -hmm. And what we've seen is that Graham is so focused on local and really getting to know the community. So what uh, what what makes this, you know, really uh, for the community? How what is the community gaining from this? So, I mean, you know, the building itself is is not really the thing that's going to help the community. What's going to help the community is when we can do a better job of getting out and covering news in the in the most comprehensive way, in the most efficient way possible. So by putting in new technology, by having all of our people uh, communicate with each other in a very easy fashion within this property and in our bureaus that are across the market, it's going to make it better for the community because ultimately we'll do more, hopefully we'll do an even better job of covering stories and, and covering the things that matter to our community. And I will say, is like being somebody that will work in the building, uh, you, just all around, we're going to be happier just being in this new building and, you know, having something that's really for us and new and exciting. Yes. I mean, the work environment that we all have to work in is really important. You spend a lot of your day with your with your work family yep. and you want to be able to, uh, you know, live in a space that is comfortable and conducive to the work that you need to do. Yeah, so that's absolutely. what we want to provide for everybody here. Well, I'm excited to get working in there. Emily, thanks for talking to me. We're going to send things over to Natalie, who's with our GM. That's right. I'm here with Jamie Leon. She's our general manager and vice president. And Jamie, let's talk a little bit about moving a TV station for a moment. Okay, our viewers have probably moved from house to house and knows what an undertaking that is. <laughs> let's talk about moving a TV station. You've done it not once, but twice before. Twice before, this will be the third time, so third time's a charm. Um, uh, it's, it's quite incredible um, undertaking, as you can imagine, um, similar to moving a home, except a lot of technology, um, a lot of just other things. But the hardest part um, is actually trying to stay on air while moving. Um, we still need to serve the community, um, and we will continue to do so. While behind the scenes, there'll be lots of busy feet moving stuff around. 
um, seamlessly. So yes, it's kind of like changing the tires on a car while it's moving. Yeah, it sounds like no problem whatsoever, for no sure. Right? We got this. We totally got this. All right, let's talk a little bit about timeline and you know what we can expect and what can our viewers expect. Sure. So we are hoping to be in this building. Actually, I say hoping, but we will be in this building um, by the end of March. Um, so will there be a lot of transitions between then? Um, but that is really when you expect to see us debut from our brand new facility, and we, we are so excited. Yeah, and you've been working on plans. I mean, everything from the floor to where the windows are going to be. I mean, there's so much that goes into it. You've been in a lot of meetings, haven't you? Been in a lot of meetings. Um, we've gone even to detail of every single outlet in the facility. So um, wow, nothing is going uh, left untouched or thought about. So, yeah. and what are we moving from the old building to the new building? Oh, well, we are moving the people, so the people are coming with us. Um, we are moving some technology, but for the most part, um, there's going to be a lot of new things to debut um, when we start um, airing out of this facility. All right, we are super excited. Thank you so much for doing this. And then in about 30 minutes, we're going to hold a groundbreaking ceremony. We're going to have some people from Lionburger, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to be coming to you live with that in just a little bit. Jamie, thank you so much. And welcome back to a special edition of Daytime Blue Ridge. We are coming to you live from our future home. I'm so WSLS excited. And we building. are doing the official groundbreaking right now. Over here we have Sam Lionberger from Lionberger Construction. And then, of course, we have Jeremy Howard. He's from our sales department. We have Heath. He's from our marketing department. We have Jamie, who <laughs> Natalie interviewed <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Jamie's okay, hard eyes. Okay, you look good. We have Emily Barr, C the CEO of Graham Media. Ricky Williams and, Rick and of Mull, course our new Rick Mull. Guys, that is official right there. We have broken ground for the brand new WSLS building. Yeah. And you know what's exciting is WSLS has been had had a bunch of firsts. Did you know that it was the first television station in the Roanoke Lynchburg market? Hey. First. That's okay? not it though. Yeah, we were the first to broadcast in full living color, mm -hmm. the first to use videotape and the first to broadcast live local news in high def. It's so it's so amazing. We've been in our building for 63 years. Mm -hmm. So the, it's it's incredible to be a part of something that's so new and you know it's going to be historic because we have guests on our show all the time who come in and they go I worked here 30 years ago or whatever. Right. And I mean to be in a new building is just so exciting. We'll be able to, you know, come back in 30 years and be like we worked here when it first opened. Yes, absolutely. And everybody's going to say you're really old. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like we do to the people who like say that they worked there for 30, yeah, 30 years ago. Um, so what we're going to be doing here in a little bit is we're going to be actually touring this building, which yeah. is the old Granger building. Yes. And um, so we're going to go inside. It's it's a blank slate. Just, it, I know, which is exciting because then, you know, you get to just, they're, they've planned it out for for us. Yes. It's tailored to us and our needs. And so it's, it's really be exciting. a brand new state-of-the-art facility, and we are super excited. And thank you for joining us for this special occasion. Yeah, hey, tune in tomorrow because it is Food Truck Friday and we have the Hanu truck, plus we're gonna give you details on Clear the Shelters. I'll be over at Montgomery County uh, Humane and uh, checking it out there. Absolutely. Come adopt right, some we'll pets. We'll be right back.